What's up, Floss Tube? I'm Monica from Peaceful Times, and this is episode 23. And we are in a very like cold day today. It's actually quite dreary out, so it's kind of interesting. Um, we've been having some hot days, you know, in the 90s, and um, now it's plummeted back down. So um, if you're new here, welcome. Um, it's a channel mostly about cross stitch, but um, I do some quilting pieces here and there. Uh, I'm definitely going to be picking up more on that because um, I'm getting down on my quilting and headed back to school tomorrow, actually, um, on Wednesday, the August 7th. And um, so we had a dentist appointment for my daughter this morning, trying to get the last few errands um, done and completed and off the list before I head back. Um, my son Wyatt has his 22nd birthday out in Arizona next week. And so I had to get a package shipped out to him. And so um, I just have a few minutes. I need to go finish the last quilt uh, before I go back and get that done. And so I thought I'd do a, a quick video because it's been a good four weeks. Um, and I guess I figured I would do a lot more over the summer uh, taping um, and things and showing you, but I just haven't gotten a lot of stitching done. The stitching that I've done um, has been um, on a project that I was doing. Um, and so that's, I'll show you, I'll show you that today, but um, I haven't gotten a lot of other stitching done a little bit, but not too much. Okay, so Wyatt did come home. He's our oldest. He's 22. Well, we'll be 22. He's 21. Um, our middle son, Andrew, is 20, and our daughter is uh, Heidi, and she's 16. So she's going to be starting her junior year this year. So two more years, and she's done. It's crazy. All my kids are out of high school. Uh, it's, it's, it's funny, though, when I think about the fact that um, I'm ready. I am more than ready to have them done. Um, anybody that's raising kids and getting them through school, uh, and we have it the best. I'm a teacher at their school, and um, I still, I still don't like it. I still, I still get frustrated with um, stuff that happens at school, and um, so I will be. I'm, I'm ready to be done. I will be thrilled to be out of there. So um, this summer I've spent time working on my shoulder. I have like, some torn rotator cuff issues and whatnot. And we've strengthened it, which has been great. But it is, it's the, the lack of motion is still huge and the soreness in it. Um, and so we're going to try something else. And what we're trying is extremely painful. Um, uh, the doctor's throwing all of his weight into it, literally. Um, and but it's, it's seeming to start to work. So I'm excited about that. Okay. Uh, Wyatt did come home for two weeks and I did a video with him. It's terrible as far as the audio and video goes. Um, I have now gotten a microphone, so I think that'll be better when I'm talking behind fabric. Um, and I'm videoing on my phone instead of on my computer. I think my computer's about done. So, um, I'm in hopes that this will be a little better. Lighting today is extremely weird. Uh, it's very dark out, very gloomy. So as far as natural light goes, I've got some coming in here and some coming in here and then a, a round light on that side, which you can probably see through my glasses. Um, but anyway, uh, we're doing the best we can and the bad, bad audio video will be over when you see that part. I will attach the part with Wyatt. I did a little interview with him so you could kind of get to know him and um, we'll start in and maybe by the end of the year be able to get the um, other two in as well. Ask them some of the same questions. All right. Okay. So um, I'll start in with some of the whips that I have um, been working on. The first one is Lantern Lane. And this particular chart, I had redone the white in it because it just didn't look white enough. It was very much the same color as the fabric. So I tried to change out the white and then um, I finished the house, like the windows and things in the house. So I'll show you that.
this is what I have done so far. And then what I really worked on this time was the detail inside the house and, of course, redoing the white of the snow there. So hopefully you can see all that. This is being stitched on. A Lugana. It's 28 count mushroom. I believe I ordered it from 123 Stitch at one point. I think it's called for. I am using the called for colors. Uh, it just says a 30 count portobello. So mine will be a little bit bigger since I'm using a 28 count instead of a 30. I'm using a bigger, bigger stitch count. But it's super easy. I can see it super well. I have pretty bad eyes. So that's always nice. Okay. My dog, if you can hear her, <laughs> is sleeping next to me. Hopefully you can't because of the fact that um, I have a mic on and that should cut out some of the uh, background noise. All right. I went to Tomorrow's Heirloom twice. And the first time I went, I bought this pattern. This is called My Big Toe. No, it's called Quoth the Stitcher, but it's by My Big Toe. That's the company. And this is the chart. Now, the way they had it charted, they had done it in like a roll pillow. So like a long roll to it. And they just used like a modeled fabric on the ends instead of this. But of course, it says Quoth the Stitcher. I need more. <laughs> Um, what it calls for for thread, it's just one, one thread, and I'm not sure if it says on here. It might say on the inside what it calls for, but um, the one, the model that they had stitched, they you they used uh, Vicky Clayton silks, and this one's called Abandon Hope. Uh, it's a hand dyed um, silk and very affordable. So it comes on an 8.7 yard. Um, spool these kinds of spools Vicki Clayton's if you're always looking at them are the round round spools um, and then I chose to stitch it on a 36 count rogue uh, fabric called vapor and so that's my start I too would like to make it into like that is it a pin roll or something that they call it um, just a, a long round pillow then they kind of squinched the edge ends. So when I get finished and figure out something with it, I will definitely show you. Okay. So the other one that I worked on, um, it's funny. I went back through my last video and I looked to see what I had put on there that I wanted to start. And I definitely had a bunch of starts that a bunch of different projects that I wanted to start. When it came time to doing that, though, all of a sudden I've gotten bit here at the end of the summer by the fall bug and just wanting to stitch fall pieces. So I have started this one previously, and this is the old red barn. Uh, it was a, it's an old chart. It's by Little House Needleworks. Um, the designer is Diane Williams, and they stitched it on a 32 count vintage pearled barley. From lakeside linens which i did find some of that actually in um up at lens of madison but i think now it's becoming more of a discontinued fabric i don't know if lakeside i think lakeside's still dying but i don't know that they're dying that color and it's such a beautiful color i didn't stitch mine in that i've stitched it in something else which is similar these are the colors. They're all kind of a mess. But the last time I had started the barn and the border, and this time now I have completed the barn. Let me see. I can kind of show you. I am off one on the very bottom part where the pumpkins are in the barn. So they're supposed to actually be like on floor level and I put them up one. I had counted off, I don't know, when I was coming down, I was kind of doing it all at once. 
um, step by step by step, you know, like doing it all together. And then I don't know, somehow I got off. It's okay. They are, they're supposed to be a spot up here at the top, like one line up there. And I have unfortunately an extra line down here. So they're not touching the ground. Nobody would know if I hadn't said anything, I don't think, but that's how it went for mine. And I am stitching this on a 30 count as well, but it's um, from Weeks Dye Works and it's um, called Coco. So I think it's very similar. It's It, it does look a lot like butter um, pearled barley from Lake Side. Very similar. So. And then really all I have is my fully finished, which um, I was going to see here if I had. Oh, yeah, I did have a finish that 1776 I finished, but I didn't bring it in here. Sorry. So the thing that I have been working on the most is I had talked to you about it last week. Um, I found a fabric line that's coming out in January called. Um, Sunday brunch and it is super pretty. So I was like very inspired and said, Oh man, I talked to Rachel, the designer and said, you know, I think it's just beautiful. And I think you need a cross stitch <laughs> to coordinate with it. And she was like, Oh, that'd be awesome. You know, I'd be honored if you would um, do that. So this is the fabric line. These are the colors in it. Super bright and pretty. It's not all of them. Um, I think over on the table I have the rest of them. This is, I just used charms for the back of it. And then this is the finished product. So the designs will be finished. The, the chart will be finished soon and put up in my Etsy shop, which I'll link below. Um, I still have to get like the cover photo made um, and then download the chart into the pattern. So. I used um, the polka dot barn is where I got this type of, um, I can show you. No, it's upside down, I guess. <laughs> the polka dot barn, this is how it comes. You can buy it, the yardage as much as you want um, or as little as you want, and then she just wraps it. So I picked the colors that I wanted. I picked a bunch of Rick Rack as well. She does both, like some of the bigger Rick Rack and some of the smaller Rick Rack she has. So I really like these. This is the kind I can show you um, where if you want to use the um, mini pom poms and stitch it in, you can, or you can do what I did, which is I cut it off. So this is what's left when you cut the pom poms off. And this is the thread that goes through it and you just chip, you know, like, um, snip the thread and then pull it and then you get a row of pom poms. So then the pom poms are all still together. Lady dot creates hers are like this too. Um, and, and so then you have just the row of pom poms. This is not the pom poms. This is the other part, but you could use this too for at some point for a pretty type of, um, like you would rick rack, you know, if you wanted to glue it on or, or um, stitch it on. And it's a little bit darker. So I just laid the pom poms down and then took a, a floss that was very similar in color. And I just up and down, up and down. And I kept, I, I came right through on the um, seam so that it wasn't off one side or the other. And then just all the way to the corners. And again, right along that seam. And then I think it, this is where I ended it. So there's a couple, there's some extra here. I could have cut it a little shorter, but I was a, kind of fearful as to like, if it was going to look right or not when I put it down there. So it's a little, a little much there, but I tried to keep it with the blue so that you didn't notice it as much. And of course, when it's, you know, setting down, you're not going to see it at all. That's why a lot of times you want to finish them at the, on the bottom. So 
if you this is I'll, I'll link her Etsy store as well this is again uh, the polka dot barn dot com but I think I found her on Etsy I think she's got an Etsy store okay so that's pretty much the end of my stitching I like I said I didn't do much meaning I mean I say that but like when I showed you this last time I only had it I only had like a quarter of it done so I've stitched all the rest of it since then so that was a lot of stitching um, I am a part of the farmer's attic um, club their linen club and this month they sent it's called joy lynn oh, and it's beautiful so the artsy housewife has a moth pattern and i thought this would be perfect for that i might totally do it on that it calls for weeks aztec red but i really like that and i think i might use that then a lot of times they send an extra gift with and this month they sent this beautiful tea towel just so nice they so don't have to do this, but they always do. This is called Red, White, and True. And it's so nice. Like, this is a great thing you can, um, if you've got a place where you put, uh, hang a towel or on the front of your um, oven. So it was just super pretty. I just really liked it. I thought that was great. So it's a perfect thing to have out um, from Memorial Day on. So that was a huge surprise. I ended up emailing um, the gal who runs that shop and just, you know, thanking her for doing such a great job. You know, you, you really only pay for your fabric, but they always over deliver. You know, you hear, hear of businesses talking about how that's such a good idea well it's true you really should over deliver so it's amazing okay now I went up to tomorrow's heirlooms twice because um, they're in Glen Ellen they are not very far from um, Midway Airport and that's where our son was flying in and out of this time so previously I had done this um, piece and it's by Little House Needleworks, um, and it came, they come as like little kits with the floss. So I really like this one. And because of that, they had the other two. So that one was, this one is Long May She Wave, and this is Home of the Brave. And then we have Land of the Free, and it comes with the classic color works now these colors versus these colors sorry upside down are so different these are much more vibrant darker than these so it'll be interesting to see when i have them all done um i don't know if it's how they're what it's called for or if they just did their own no they're they they're using the right ones so i don't know why it's so different but other uh, charts that I purchased when I was there was Stacy Nash's Spring Chickens Pin Keep, one of my faves. It's hard to really see how it looks, you know, on the chart, but when it's done up, it is so cute and it's so much bigger. It's like almost 10 by 10. It's like nine and a half by nine and a half. Um, and that's probably on a, on a smaller stitch count. It's probably not on 14 count. It's probably more like on 36 or 40, um, but it's, it's big. So, and the other one I got was a Plum Street. You know me and Plum Street. This one is Friends of the Heart. And you know, hang on. I'm, I wanna look and see when this one came out because this was 2017. Like, where have I been? I totally missed this one. I really like it. So. It's a really neat chart. Um, I saw it up when I went to Country Samplers. They had it up there too. And so I grabbed a bunch of the threads. Um, and it's so pretty. And I think it's on, Vel uh, not Vel, it's on Wren. 
And so that is this. So this is what it'll be stitched on. Super pretty. Super, super pretty. Okay. Now, I had placed some online orders, and I placed this one with Vintage Needle Arts. And, you know, pictures are, are great if they look good, if they work, if you can, if you can tell. Um, some of these that I got, I was like, didn't think that's what they were. So um, I will show you what they look like and we'll go through that. So the first one is a 36 count caramel cream. Uh, let me show you the back. There we go. Very nice, just um, neutral, you know, which will be great. And then this is agave. I really like this one too. This one's 46 count. So it's a, it's definitely at like a hand dyed. It's super pretty. I like that one. And then I got one that I thought, oh, I'm going to try an 18 count. <clears throat> I like stitching on Ada's and things. And it was called Moonlight Bay. Now, I didn't realize that it was more of like a painted on one. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just very different. So let me show you what it looks like. So here's one side and here's the other side. Wow, like this is really weird. I've never seen a linen, I mean, it's not a linen, it's an Ada. Um, I've never seen an Ada even like this. And it's different from the top of where it's at down there, because it got cut, you know, like up here, it didn't, I don't know if it didn't take the dye or it took the dye too much or, I don't know. It's super, super different though. Um, I almost like the back better. It's a little bit lighter. So I would maybe use that because it's almost like a gray, just kind of reads gray. This reads so weird. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. It's just so weird. Um, if you can think of anything to use it with, let me know. Cause I, I don't have a clue. Um, Maybe it'll be a giveaway <laughs> down the road. Maybe next time. If you'd like that, let me know. Put a comment in the bottom that, hey, I'd take that. What did we call it? It is Moonlight Bay. If you think Moonlight Bay is great, let me know and we'll auction her off. Not auction, but we'll give it away. Um, then I got a 40 count sage, which this is just a Zweigart. Um, green you know a, a very i don't know turquoisey or tealy green and then this one's lagoon i really love this one i think i had ordered this one and she sent me this one first and i was like i didn't order sage but she let me keep it and i think it'll be great for maybe christmas time or something and then she sent me this one and this one i love and then i got coral 40 count coral Super pretty. So I'm seeing all sorts of things that I can do with these in my head. Um, in fact, these colors are very, they look very similar to what I've been doing, right? So you can tell where my mind's going on how I could create a lot of things with that. Um, and then that was only the first half of the order. I had ordered again, she had a huge sale. So things were super cheap. Here's more dark cobblestone. Um, I have something that I just got that I was looking at that I think would work on this. I can't remember now what it was. Um, this one I love. This is Sahara. It's like a gold, like a brownish gold. really like that. And then smoke blue. 
So it's kind of like a like a washed denim look to it. That one's super cool. And then I just got sand, 40 count sand. And that too is just, you know, your very basic colors. Um, and then winter moon. There's a small 13. It's like a fat eighth, maybe winter moon, which I really like. It's similar to sand, but it's a lot lighter. Um, and then antique ivory. So it's about in the middle. You've got light, antique ivory, and then sand. Oh, maybe, maybe antique ivory is a little bit darker than sand. Yep. So it's about like that. But those are those are fun too. Okay, then I got some patterns, some charts, because these were making me excited. Um this one is from Hands Across the Sea Samplers. This is Elizabeth Wood. Um, I would like to do it. I'd like to use a Vicki Clayton silk, I think. Um, you can do use DMC. It gives you all the possibilities. Um, but I think I'd like to, I don't know, can you see that? See it up close? It's really hard with the glare. more of like an alphabet and then pansy patch quilts and stitchery they have summer garden at cranberry manor so there's a couple of these different kinds out like this but this one was i thought really cute i don't really have any plans of stitching it anytime soon but and then i got another plum street and this is adorn your heart Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> it's just so shiny. This says, adorn your heart, adorn your mind with knowledge of the sweetest kind. Now, if you can see, look at this. That knowledge is like split in half, funky. And for the longest time, I was like, what is that word? And then I read it and was like, oh, knowledge, hello. So I like that one. And then this one was kind of neat. I don't know that I would use the same fabric, but I, in my head, I'm looking at it going, oh, with different fabric, I, would, I think I really like it. Not that I don't like it now, but this is Seasons Autumn. This is a Leela Studio, um, like single pattern. I guess they're all single patterns, but um, not quite a huge one. A lot of hers that I have are like the big ones, the Quaker samplers and things. Like I've got Spring Quaker and Halloween Quaker, and I really want to get Christmas Quaker because my husband likes that one. Um, but I got to get the other two done first. <laughs> so this one was, it was neat, you know, with the, the big pot and the, um, I like the acorns and the blackbirds and the fact that she used um, a white pumpkin and an orange pumpkin. And then her finish is really neat with the trim, you know, the trim. And the bottom piece, I just love it when they do that kind of kind of thing. So, and then the last one I got was America. This is a Twin Peak Primitives. I've looked at it on and off quite a bit. Um, I think this one would work. This would be one of those that you could use um, the dark cobblestone for the background. This color, uh, not background, but for the fabric. But I don't know that I want. It that dark we'll see when i start collecting threads we'll see what i come up with but this is called america and it says tis of the sweet land of liberty of the icing land where my fathers died land of pilgrim's pride from every mountainside let freedom ring so of course i love the little pilgrim people on there but then it's got quilts right it's got quilt blocks and it's got is that a dog and some sheep? I mean, it just doesn't get any better than the crows and the flag. So it's very Americana. Again, I don't really have plans for it right now because I have a bunch of other Thanksgiving ones. But it's funny, I thought for the longest time, I don't have anything Thanksgiving. And um, then sort of started to realize I do have a couple. <laughs> and I'd like to start those first. So, um, I have like Feast of Friendship and I have another one that's got pumpkins in it, which I think is a, 
little house needleworks. So I've got a couple of those that I want to do, but fall is like screaming my name right now. I'm having a very hard time not digging into fall. And in fact, I am just kind of like chucking it all and working on some fall ones that I'd like to get done. Um, I have some that are done. Finishes is my next big thing. I will do some stitching at night, but work out in the studio was definitely, I've got finishes that I want to be doing. So hopefully next time I can bring you a bunch more finishes because I do love doing them when I get them done. I think they turn out very nice and are very fun to have around. So I just need to do more of them. Um, one of the ones that I would like to do is I'd like to start this one on a 36 count. It, it can get down to a 10 by 12, which is not too bad. Um, I'd like to be able to put it into 11 by 14 frame. So um, it, this calls for barley, which is um, one of uh, Lori Holt's fabrics. It's a barley fabric but this one's called Autumn Lane. And I'm gonna show you up close a little bit more. It's got just so many different things. Like obviously I love the house, but I love the little squirrels and I love the little wagon with the um, pumpkin in it and the scarecrows and and it's just got a bunch of quilty blocks and things. So I look forward to um, starting that because I think it's pretty and would love to have it hung up. I think it's very classic. I think it's one of those that will, you know, stand the test of time. Um, so we had giveaway last time. And, oh, I was going to say too, um, I got my first Stitchy Kindness, which was amazing and that was um by charlotte she is out in iowa maybe yeah she's out in iowa and she just sent me the sweetest note like um with some uh fourth of july uh paper and it was just wonderful so nice to get notes and things like that so thank you very much charlotte i appreciate that that it made my day i like was like i wonder who this is from and then to see that you know it was um a friend from floss two i thought that was awesome so the first um number one let me make sure i have these numbered correctly so that i don't mess this up um number one was set E. Yes. So this was kind of, and I know it's past now, um, with 4th of July kind of theme, but, um, it'll get you a good start for next year, right? You'll have the pattern. So number one goes to, um, Jeanette Smith 501, Jeanette Smith 501. Uh, she's in, from Southern Illinois and her and I have in common the love of all things Joe Morton. And she was lucky enough, she commented, that she got to take a class with her at some point. So, yep, now, now you're my favorite. How fun. <laughs> I love Joe Morton. I love Joe Morton's things. Um, just her style and um, her fabrics will always, I have collected tons of them my whole life and um, will continue to enjoy using them for as long as I have them. So, leave me a, um, your information or email me your information and I will get this out in the mail to you right away. And number two was dun, 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 the cat charm. Number two, I will get out to you in the mail right away as well. And this goes to Pat Hansen. Pat Hansen has been a winner before, I believe. So here is to your um, cat charm. You can put that on your bag, which would be super fun. And then, or no, I'm sorry. Number two, don't be mad at me. Pat, you won number three. <laughs> Pat, you won this one, which is number three. This is So Cut Press. S cut, so Cut, Cut Press, So. <laughs> Learn how to read. <laughs> um, I'm a reading teacher. Yay! Um, cut, So, Cut, Press, So, Cross Stitch one. And this is a Lori Holt one. This is super cute and fun to have around. That goes to Pat Hansen. The charm, however, goes to Paula B. Amam. Be a man, be Paula B E A M O N. Paula B -E man. It shouldn't be that difficult. <laughs> um, so, this is yours. So, just go ahead and um, 
email me. My email will be below. Um, or send me, you know, you can, you can post it on here, but I probably wouldn't post my address on there. But um, however you want to uh, find me and let me know, I will get those right out. Um, as far as another video goes, I don't know. School starts tomorrow. Um, I'm in hopes two weeks. Let's say by at least end of August, maybe two to three weeks, uh, I'll have another one out. Um, with some cool stuff that I'm doing. I've got a couple of um, fall quilts that I want to get started. One's just a small one. Uh, maybe I'll put some video out on me working on that. Um, if you keep watching, I will attach at the end of this um, the video with Wyatt, um, which is kind of fun to see. And then uh, I have two more things. One is... Um, a gal gave me a shout out and I'm going to, I'll put her um, link down below. And I can't think of her name now. I can't even think of her channel. Um, and I'll put it across the screen here. Um, but go check out her thing. She's got really cute stuff. If you like the kind of things that I stitch, she's very similar to the same things that I stitch. And then the giveaway for next time, since I'm in the good old fall mood, the first one is going to be a pumpkin charm so if you want number one it's like it looks like a um, quilted pumpkin you can put on your little bag and the other one is fall is in the air this was a fat quarter shop um, stitch quarterly chart and they don't send me anything I order from them but I don't know how you get lucky enough to be the the people where, I mean, I've watched a lot of floss tubes and they're like, oh, look, they gave us, you know, they gave me two of all these to give away. And I don't know if you can find out how they do that. I would love to give you more stuff to give away. But anyway, thanks for sticking with me this whole time. And um, I hope you have a wonderful end of summer. I hope if you're in a hot area, you can find some relief and some cool. And um, I hope with these storms, I know Florida's kind of gotten nailed, that whole like Hurricane Debbie or whatever um, is kind of wreaking havoc down there. So anyway, um, I, have, I appreciate each and every one of you and love sharing what we do with the community. So take care, keep stitching, and we'll see you next time.